Hey everybody, this is me, Jimmy McMillan, the founder of the Raiders 2 Damn High Party. I'm also a reporter for my movement, the Raiders 2 Damn High Movement and Party. I don't want to get involved in politics. I try to stay away from it. That's why y'all haven't seen me, because it's bullshit. Right now we're talking about uh, the, the protesting we're having across the world. I uh, call it George's protest. Um, something was handled wrong when it comes to the matter of the Emancipation Proclamation, 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment, freeing the slaves and other, other area issues of that nature, as well as the Fair Housing Act, the Fair Right, Fair Voting Act, and all of these things were handled improper. And I'm going to briefly tell you why I don't want to get involved, because politics is bullshit. Let me start with the people who was once slaves. Let me hold that thought, slave. They were purchased, owned by the United States government, who put a people in slave, free, and freed them, quote unquote, not freed them, took everything they had, made them work for free. Stay with me now because this is, is, this is just as confusing as I speak. Took those same people, sold them, After freeing them under the way they free them, free them, they have been getting shot and murdered from the beginning of time to the year 2020, to the year 2020, which is now. Police officers protecting white neighborhoods, you catch you walking in a white neighborhood, they pull you over, harass you, all, all, this, in it, all this is going on. Anything you can think of is going on, but there's a solution. Which they never took the time to find that solution. There is a solution that's waiting for the people. If someone, if those descendants had someone smart enough to take it to federal court and resolve this matter that no one seems to know how to handle. I'm going to run through briefly and stop it because I'm tired. I've been hanging out all day in the sun, 84 degrees, and so just want to give you an idea on which direction and my mindset is in. Those slaves cannot, descendants cannot go to court under the current laws because these descendants was owned by the United States government, meaning they were sold as stock on Wall Street, meaning you can only have court, have them in court, not through local court because they would be mistreated and lied to, maybe shot and killed as George Floyd and many others are being done now. The, the killing never stopped, what I'm trying to say. The solution for these folks is they must be tried only in federal court because the United States government claimed ownership of these people and never set them free properly. Forcing these descendants to get a fair trial in a country that freed them from slavery with nothing. They're poor, very poor, but there was a solution if it's handled right. By the federal government owning slaves, they can only seek justice through federal court. 
We have a case in New York in 2020 where George Floyd was murdered by police officers. If it is handled property, why federal court? Because George Floyd and many others paid taxes. And if you murder a descendant and they are taxpayer. They may live in your county, but they're property of the United States federal government. Still, all the descendants are because they were never freed properly, freed without anything, not given anything to live on. Oh, God, what a hell of a story. It makes it complicated because they will rebuttal you, your answers to the questions that you ask to make you look stupid as though you don't know what you're talking about. When the whole process is, slaves were never freed properly due to the ownership of the federal government of these people, human beings. They were never given proper freedom. I don't know if I want to get involved in this bullshit or not. I'm going to have to try to find the energy to let me try to break it down real briefly to help you understand why one more time. Because the slaves were never freed properly of the United States government. They were never given any clarified identity of that freedom because the police officers and other people are harassing and shooting and killing these people that was once slave. Their cases can only be heard in federal court. Any other court would be a conflict of interest. So to be, to, to be a conflict of interest, you can't try them in regular court. Because they're taxpayers. If they're killed, who killed them have to take care of their family. If you are an employee of the state, like police, neighbor, harassing white folks or calling, those who were, the ownership of these slaves was passed down for, through their grandparents. They let them know it. They act like it. But there's a way to resolve this give these descendants the freedom they need and they won't have to, they'd be protected. Wow. This is what I know. That's all has to be done. I'm going to let you go at this point because I can go on and on and on with the proper correct freedom should have been given to the descendants of slaves. At the time, they was said it was free, the Emancipation Proclamation, 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment, and the Fair Housing Act, and all the other acts that was right to vote and all these things. They settled for it because they didn't know. The federal government still can protect these people because they were never given the proper paperwork to free them from whatever, handling right, they can get those papers and end all this hate that white people are showing. They have for these people, not only in America, every country where Negroes, the slaves have reside. But right now it's about America. America will do the right thing other nations will wake up and do the right thing as well. But let's first start with America. If it's done right, the Negroes, African Americans, whatever they like to be called, it doesn't matter. They just don't have rep proper representation. They have no representation at all. Most of the people I see on television like to use big words. They call themselves Negroes, black, African American. They're the dumbest motherfuckers you ever seen in your life. All this bullshit they're doing can't help the people in question, like George Floyd. That's the most recent accident.
they said they didn't murder him. Now they want to go to court to show, ask, where's the proof? You killed a taxpayer. You got to pay. For all of his children, for everything he had and he left. Matter of fact, once you kill him, everything that you own belongs to him and his family. Let's play the game right and fair. I see no problem. But there's nobody in the black community can fairly represent this matter. Because they're dumb as hell, they don't know. They just try to capitalize on opportunity to get rich and have money. Let me stop now, because I can go on and on with this. But in the meantime, slaves were never freed properly by the United States government. We're never freed properly. That's it. This is Jimmy McMillan, the founder of the Rent is Too Damn High Party. You can Gmail me or email me at damnrentparty at gmail.com if you have any questions. If I don't answer it, your question. I mean, you ask no question. You just run your goddamn mouth and just talking. If you listen, everything is in there. That's all I got to say. Freed and properly.